Hello, and welcome to Hove Gamers Saints Row Review. I've put a few hours into this game so far, so let's see how it is. Let's start with the obvious one, the graphics. Now the game isn't going to win any awards for it, but it is still in line with previous Saints Row games. I do feel the characters, especially in cutscenes, feel a bit off. Especially your uncreated character who seems very out of place and doll-like. Which isn't to say with more in-depth creation time, you can't make it look better. Now on the gameplay, that's where this game can shine and also fall short. As I've only played to the point to decide to venture into my own Lord prize, which means I've done around 7 missions and I've already had it bug out and stopped me from continuing, so I had to restart the mission. Hopefully this isn't going to be happening further through the game. But on the subject of missions, out of 7, 2 have seemed to make it pop culture like the Fast and Furious and Mad Max movies. That doesn't mean that missions aren't new and refreshing, it's just nice to see little easter eggs like these. Now starting weapon wise, you have a pistol and assault rifle which is quite generous compared to older games. One thing I found out by just playing is you have the wingsuit from the beginning, so there is no need to unlock it or buy it. I figured this out as I accidentally jumped off the roof and was prompted to open it. Vehicle wise you get a beat up truck to start off with, unless you have the DLC you also get the bike. The mechanics feel a bit loose and choppy, especially the bikes handling. I don't know if this is due to me using an Elite Series 2 controller as it will be slightly altered to what a standard Xbox controller is set to for responsiveness. Speaking of hardware, I am playing on an Xbox Series X with 4K Ultra HD settings, but there are other options to play at, like the 1080p for better quality or frame rate, depending on which one you pick, 1440p quality or frame rate again, or just 2160p. With the 1080 and 1440p quality modes, you have ray trace and ambient occlusion as an extra option. So how does this entry fare against its predecessors? I would say it's a good beginning if you compare it to the first Saints Row, but it's currently not as witty and attention grabbing as the later entries at the moment. So that's been my quick review of Saints Row. Have you picked it up or looking to grab it? Let us know in the comments. See you next time.